Biolumic is a new agricultural research process designed to treat corn, soybean, and other seeds with ultraviolet light in an effort to boost yield. Biolumic senior agronomist Trent Moore says the concept originated in New Zealand and was brought to the Corn Belt, where it's headquartered at Champaign, Illinois, to meet near the University of Illinois. Biolumic is an agriculture biotechnology company that uses light uh, to signal plants and provide some agronomic and yield advantages to those plants. Okay, the sunlight does that. What do you, how do you vary from sunlight? Right, exactly. So uh, the sunlight provides uh, UV light to all plants, and all plants have mechanisms to deal with that sunlight. So what we're doing is using some similar pathways um, in the plants um, to provide some of those agronomic and yield advantages um, with different uh, intensities and durations of treatments. Now, leaves on corn and soybeans capture sunlight. How are you different from the sunlight? Sure, so this is a seed-based treatment, and um, we treat the seed, uh, we take it out of the field and grow it out in the field, and that's where we see those advantages. So you're treating the seed, but what is in the seed that's going to capture your light? Sure, the, the cells of the seed are receptive to UV light, and um, that's what causes the changes in gene expression. The cells. Now, is this in the in the germ? Is that where it is? Uh, yeah, that that'd be correct. In the in the germ. Um, just to be clear, it's not a uh, genetically modif modification of any of the uh, of the seeds. Um, it's purely a treatment. So we're seeing some really interesting results um, for spo soybeans specifically. Um, number one is yield. Uh, number two is early season vigor. And we're also seeing some quality aspects that have been changed. For example, last year one of our recipes showed an increase in protein for the soybean plant. So we're really excited about some of those results. When you say recipe, what do you mean? So that's a specific light recipe. So um, we tailor these specifically to the specific varieties. Um, so each variety potentially would have a light recipe that would work specifically for it the best. Okay, a recipe meaning frequency of the uh, uh, of the light, uh, the distance above the seed, and yeah, the yeah. timing of how long the treatment is? Right, exactly. So when we say recipe, we typically mean uh, the intensity, the duration, and the wavelength that we apply to the seeds. Okay. And where, where have you been testing the, uh, the, the soybeans? Uh, we've tested soybeans in um, 11 states so far. Um, basically, we've covered the entire commercial uh, relevant uh, soybean growing area in the Midwest. Okay. When you get the uh, the changes, uh, the increase in protein, uh, uh, what do the uh, the animal feed people say about that? Well, yeah. So that's that would be really exciting to them, right? And you know, being able to add uh, quality uh, aspects such as higher protein um, makes a lot of sense for uh, livestock producers as well. Does this really increase the value of the protein or the soybean then? Absolutely. We think that um, there's some possibilities for um, some specialty contracts um, with processors um, where farmers could uh, capitalize on um, incentives to grow specific uh, high protein varieties. Okay. Any, uh, any changes in how a farmer is going to produce those soybeans, either in planting date or uh, uh, nutritional uh, uh, applications or caring for them, crop protectants, things like that? No, so far we've seen um, this technology be fully integrated with uh, standard uh, production practices and um, actually we're excited that there's some stress mitigation uh, things that we've seen um, as far as drier conditions or more challenging growing conditions. Limited amount of the UV treated seed will be available next year with more widespread distribution expected in 2025. I'm Stu Ellis.